This is going to be experiment one, basic techniques, table number three. And for table number three, we're going to use a beaker to measure volume. And it says choose a clean, dry 100 milliliter or other beaker. And uh, I'm going to choose my 100 milliliter beaker. It was wet, so I've just got a piece of cloth here. I'm gonna dry it out. You do want it to be dry this time. And whenever it says dry in the procedure, you want to get it there. Um, so let's get that up there. It is dry. Uh, let me get my scale. Record the mass. Oh, and I looked at it and my markings are every 10 milliliters, just like it says. Record the mass. There's my circle. 11.16, I think that's the same as the previous one. Good, that means it's clean and dry, that's a useful check. So, and that's 11.16 grams. Time to take the temperature of my water again. Take my pipette out. Again, I'm only putting it up to right there in the water. Swirling. I get 24.6 this time. And turn it off. Degrees Celsius. Now the mass of beaker plus water, so it says Recorded the mass, recorded the temperature, measure out 2.0 times 10 to the 1 milliliters. And I've written it in scientific notation so that you know it has two significant figures. It's really 20 milliliters in scientific notation of the room temperature distilled, or in my case, tap water. So I've got it right here. I've got my beaker. I'm going to pour in 20. I'm going to look straight across while I do it. And I'm going to double check by looking down here on the side. Oh yeah, when I hold it up, I can't really see that flatly. So I'm going to pour the extra into my waist. And let's see how we're doing now. Still a little high, so I'm going to get my pipette out. I'm going to actually suck some out this time. And it looks right on the 20 mark right now. So now I'm going to weigh it. Yep. Thirty point six seven. And again, this time uh, it says, um, empty out your beaker and carefully weigh again. So we're gonna be emptying. I'm emptying that into the waste. And then I'm getting some more of my water here. And again, I'm just gonna start by doing it here. And then to be a good measurement, I wanna look straight across. See, when I hold it up, I always get more than I need. So now I'm going to take some out. And we do not expect this line to be exact. It's only 20. But we do want to get hit the line as close as possible. Like we don't care if it's exactly 20. We care that we hit the line on this beaker. Just a little tiny bit there. And we weigh it again. Thirty-one point. Oops, going back and forth there. No, oh, now it stabilized. Thirty-one point two zero. Pour that into the waste. And you don't have to dry it again. You can. It shouldn't make a difference because um, any water that's in here is going to be part of the twenty that I'm pouring back in. 
And so let's see if I can do this a little better this time. It might be a little better, but I still have some extra in there. So I still want to take some out because it's a little above the 20 line. Get it as closely as you can. And then weigh it again. There's the dot, 31.57. I think that's it for the measurements, so I'm gonna put it over there, 31.57. If you forget it, just put it back on the scale, that's fine. Now, all three of these are gonna be done the same way as table two. You emptied it each time, so you're gonna subtract off the 11.16. Do the work on your calculator. 3.67. I get 19.51, which is four sig figs. That's true. And now my density. Let's write that down. And that's grams, and that's grams. Next, I'm going to do my density, and I'll just put it down here for now. So I get 19.51. And your numbers will be different, but your calculations will be the same style. Write it in scientific notation here. That's 2.0 times 10 to the 1. And my answer again on calculator, 19.51 divided by, it's just 20. It's really hard to enter it in, in scientific notation, so just enter just fine. And I get 0 0.9755 as the calculator answer. And you are free to answer in one of the following two ways, just like in table two. So since this has two sig figs, my answer has to have two sig figs, you can underline this second digit and write it into the box. My box is on the next page. But I'm going to put it right there. And that's going to be density in grams per milliliter. Or you can round it to two sig figs. In which case it would be 0 0.98. Of course, you have to do the other calculations for this table. But they are similar to the ones we've already done. And we'll pick up in the next video and how to do the calculations for this lab.